Here at Mississippi, we're intelligent. We learn everything to be legit. Today I'm going to teach you how to jet a carb on a dirt bike. So to start off with, the carburetor takes fuel from the gas tank and it puts it into the engine via this manifold right here. The piston moves up and down. The spark over here um, it explodes the gas and makes the combustion so the piston goes down back and forth creating the energy to move this rocket to move the rear wheel which gives you the horsepower. Anyways, to work on the carburetor, you have to take this whole thing out. There's either two bolts that you take out right here, or there's, some of them have a fancy little rubber boot that you can uh, just put a little fastener over it. Anyways, to take that off, you need a Phillips screwdriver. You pull it out, and yeah, let's get to it. So right now, I have the carb out for inspection. I still have the throttle cable connected so I can show you how to take it off of the bike. Right now, I just took it off of the rubber boot with the, the screwdriver Phillips thing I unscrewed. That was right here. So you just take that off and you pop the, the carburetor off and the air filter. Once you get that off, you just unscrew the throttle cable and you pull the throttle cables and the slide out and that will show you one part of your adjustment the needle so after you take the slide out <clears throat> you're going to inspect the needle the needle is responsible for a quarter to three quarters of the throttle setting so if your bike is bogging at a quarter to three quarters of the throttle this is the thing you need to adjust with the slide pulled out in the carburetor side, you want to take your needle apart from the throttle cable. How you do that is you're going to want to push the needle out through the bottom, make it come up like that, and then set the spring aside. Make sure you don't lose it. It's pretty hard to find once they go bouncing everywhere. Set this aside, and you can just let the cable fall. What you're gonna do is pinch this needle clamp thing out and here's your needle. And how you adjust that is you move this retainer thing either up or down. There's little slots, you see that? In order to increase gas flow, you wanna move it down. To make less gas go in the carburetor, you wanna move it up. So that's for minor, minor adjustment. So now that you got your carb taken apart, there's three main things to take into consideration while tuning. First thing is weather. If it's cold outside, there's going to be less oxygen. Your bike needs more gas when there's less oxygen. <clears throat> the second thing to cons take into consideration is the elevation. The higher up a hill you go, the less air there is to breathe. So when you're thousand feet above sea level like what we are now you're gonna need more gas than say if you were at sea level. The main jet's responsible for three quarters to full throttle of the throttle setting and the pilot jet's responsible for zero to a quarter throttle of the throttle setting. That means when you go to rev it up when you're first starting to rev it up the pilot jet's gonna be responsible for how it acts right there at the first beginning of the bra. <laughs> the main jet's going to be um, responsible for the top wide open part of the the throttle setting. The needle is responsible for in between that a quarter to three quarters. So if you're bogging out when you go to when you go to give it gas and your bike bogs out you're going to want to change your pilot jet. If it bogs out and, and like floods itself, 
it means you're getting too much gas. You're gonna want to go smaller with this pilot jet. If it uh, if it backfires and pops, doesn't want to be very responsive. You're gonna want to give it more gas. If it's like that, and when you're wide open, if it's popping, backfiring, you're gonna want to give it more gas on the main jet. And then when it's um, if it bogs out and it uh, it sputters, you're gonna want to give it um, less gas. So right now I'm in Minnesota. I'm a thousand feet elevation. I have a 38 pilot and a 85 main, and it like seems to run perfect with that setting. So there you have it. There's an explanation of how elevation affects a bike and how cold temperature affects a bike. When it's colder, there's less oxygen in the air. When you're up a hill, when you're Increase in elevation, there's going to be less oxygen, so you must jet accordingly. If you go and travel, pay attention to the elevation of where you're traveling to, and um, yeah, be prepared. Have your bike set properly, and we won't let you down. Also, a few pointers for if you have a new bike the break in period, you're going to want to jet super rich, you're going to want to lubricate it a lot for when you're breaking in the engine. Bikes will run mint as long as you jet them right. Thanks. <coughs>